Hi there. This video is to illustrate how to create a simple Pareto chart. There are two columns. In this example, there are reasons for failure and the collected number of incidents. Step one is to highlight the fields and sort the data. Go to the Data tab, sort by number of instance, largest to smallest and click OK. And now the data is sorted. In step two, I add a total for the number of incidents. I use the auto sum function and calculate the total, which is 305. Step three is to calculate the percentage that each incident is of the total. In order to do this, I take the number of incidents and divide by 305, which is the value of the total number of incidents. Next, I'm going to fill in the rest of the column by doing a copy and paste. And step four is a simple one. I format the cells that I'm going to use. So for the three columns, I format a number to two places. As you can see, I've highlighted the three columns. And uh, this is the percentage of values as per the column heading. Step five is to calculate the cumulative percent. I perform this by copying the first number. Then for the second number, it is the first number added to the next number in the order. And again, I will copy and paste to fill the rest of the column. And the cumulative percent sum adds up to 100%, which is really good for me. That means I've done something right. Step six is a way I use to keep everything clean. I copy and paste those cumulative percent values into the column beside the number of incidents. Step seven is to begin to create the chart. I highlight the columns and use the insert command to create a chart. The next step is a critical one, and that is to select the Series 2 data. So you right-click on one of the red bars that represents the cumulative percentage column and change the series type to a line chart. Select line chart. OK. And now my columns that were cumulative percentage become a line, and that is my basic Pareto. So I can add a title, and we see the incidents are the columns, and the cumulative percentage results are the line. When you click on a marker, it will tell you uh, the values. I've added a title here. And we see the fifth column represents the 80% value in this. So for any amount of data and for for any data that you have for two columns, uh, you can use these steps to create a Pareto chart. 